Welcome to day 17, and today we got another bourbon, and it's a classic, and I'm looking forward to it. It's Four Roses Single Barrel was what got voted in. Now, are you ready? I'm gonna dive right in, because the thing I love about this bourbon is that it's, it's so deeply honeyed in the sense of there's some spice and funkiness to to some of the other bourbons and this one has some barrel spice and it's got some you know that corn dusty note but this one is so rounded rich it's it's lows and low mids and it's, and the single barrel is a higher proof so it's not until you 52% roughly it's not till you get into the sip Where then there's some, ah, uh, then there's some pepper grit and some barrel spice notes, but still it's so deeply rounded and rich. Oh, it's just, man, Four Roses, there's, it's such a good whiskey. It just, it keeps coming back. It's just a solid whiskey. And uh, I think... If I had to pick with this one, classic American, classic bourbon, Americana, I'm going to go with Bonnie Raitt. And, and here's the thing. I'm kind of, I mean, I've always loved Bonnie Raitt. Bonnie Raitt is a, two of my top female American artists, Bonnie Raitt and Emilio Harris. And I'll probably try to find a way to compare Emilio Harris to a whiskey at some point, but... But son of a bitch, if Bonnie doesn't just have the most beautiful, heartbreaking voice that's still got some blues edge, and man, when she plays slide, it just undoes you and just cracks you open. Uh, if you've not listened to Bonnie Raitt, go back and listen to, I mean, still, still hold strong of one of the most classic albums of, of the style is uh, Luck of the Draw and then Nick of Time, both of those. I mean, they've got songs like, um, um, you don't, and I can't make you love me if you don't. That's what it is. And you can't make your heart feel. And then uh, it's got the, one of the most under uh, listened to ones from people that on the general market is the, um, I can't remember, is it called The Boxer? Um, he's like, one part be my love. That's what it is. One part be my lover, one part go away. Yeah. Hot damn. Bonnie Ray. Mmm. Now, as it opens up a little bit, more of that barrel pepper spice comes through. And it gets, the richness stays, but there's this tinge of black pepper that sort of starts to climb higher as it opens up a little bit, I kind of want to add a little water to this one, just because, and I haven't been doing that because I'm trying to keep these like in the five minute range, but this one, this one could open up interestingly, I think. So there's a song and it is, um, Ah, she's singing it with Crosby and Still Crosby and Stills. I might be Crosby and that. Wait, there's a anyway, look up any Bonnie Raitt video. My right uh more recent albums is um Slipstream is maybe one of the best albums that Bonnie Raitt has ever recorded. It's a I mean, song for song. She's got covers of of um uh Loudon Wainwright on there and ah Incredible stuff. Okay, so it jumps the herbal and vegetal notes of, out of the nose with a little bit of water added. And I mean sprinkles of water. Oh, and then it gets peppered honey. It gets both more sweet and more peppery at the same time. Oh, come on. That's good stuff. Yeah, it's hard to not like, I mean, the, this list that we created is, 
a truly classic list. So it's there's not a single whiskey on this entire list that I'm not gonna enjoy, luckily. <laughs> That's why I curated it that way uh, after we got our selection. Just a testament to the Whiskey Tribe having great taste. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that'll do. All right, I'm gonna live with the rest of this glass while you guys go on about your day. Until tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side illegal and may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers. <laughs>